What's up guys, this is the Roverman and today I'm bringing you back to the second episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So the round of where we left off, we've been doing a hell of a lot of fighting up against the Persians in Azerbaijan. And we are looking to capture this territory, hoping to get a peace deal with Persia. Um, however, while we were laying siege and waiting for our reinforcements to come up, um, they have sallied forth, so we will engage them on the battlefield. So my plan isn't isn't <laughs> my plan isn't going to be to conquer all of Persia. It's to take this region for peace. If that's not possible, this army that's currently up in up near Azerbaijan may instead get diverted to Georgia, and then another army will be raised in Baghdad. Because um, I've managed to make peace with the the Austrians. But now I would like to make peace. Well, I would like to remove the threat from another flank. Let's just make a fairly conservative battle line. Or might have to push, push up. I think I'm going to have to push up. That's not a problem because their main army is pretty weak. Let's just make a battle line with our existing infantry. In as sorry state as it is. Our camel is going to guard this flank. And our melee infantry are going to be falling in the centre with the cavalry. Okay, so things have kind of gone almost the worst they could possibly be. So our, in our enemies are coming from back here. Our reinforcements coming in on their flank. I mean, reinforcements is a very grand word for two units of line infantry. Let's just push the Bashi Bazooks up behind, ready to withstand take take the cavalry charge unlimber my guns because where actually are they oh, there they are I mean this general's bodyguard unit is probably gonna have a very torrid time. I'm not quite sure where he's trying to attack, but... Just wrap the flanks around, saturate them, saturate their forces with fire. Keep pounding the hell out of them with our foot artillery. Put our camels in the in the right position. To be honest, these all these Israelis are going. I'm going to set them to run. Because I mean, these are just armed populist units against us, so I'm not really that concerned. the Bashi Bazooks. And deploy the camel gunners. There's the general. Let's commit him. Then we can also swivel these guys around. I've deselected my general. Let's limber the guns up. Yep, 
So that's their general killed. Let's bring up the Felaheen. Felaheen. Let's bring them up into position. Let's keep the camels busy. Zooks up. So the hope is at the very least we can kill some of these actual units. If they engage us in melee, our infantry, we do have a qualitative advantage. Pull my guns out. Just for safety. So let's pull these semis in to the flank. Just push these guys up. make sure that our cavalry that are actually deployed are doing some use. To be honest, I might set these guys to chase them down. Whittle down the enemy numbers. So my guys have caught up with them, and they are managing to actually engage them, which is always nice. Let's bring my general back and the other units of camels back. Charge everyone in, to be honest. These are all armed populist units, so they're not really, not really a big deal. Is that my general? Good. Keep. Let's keep making them all run into appropriate positions. So these guys should, when they die, my guys should chase them down. Getting slaughtered quite convincingly. Speed up time, absolutely continue. Although we are swarming after them like a swarm of bees. You go for them, my general. No, they're going to escape. However, these guys can be killed. Although they will make it to the edge of the battlefield, probably. Some of them. Yeah, there's always going to be some leakers. Close victory indeed, I think not. A chance that that's not enough for the Persians that they see that as a anything an insult and they do not like where that's going at all because it looks like it's heading my way and if that's the case morocco you're done i'm gonna absolutely march an army through north africa and sack the city because I, I don't see any alternative but they're going for me 
based on the AI's <clears throat> based on the AI's previous behavior in this game. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yep. Okay. Good. But before doing anything crazy, well, there is a British army coming. So you guys pick up. Firstly, pick up some camels. Then we'll need nomads. Got some good Israelis. Okay, let's get some um, Felayin, some proper melee infantry. And that'll take a couple of turns to get into position. Then let's. I do like upgrading. Ooh, I think now might be. Might be the time to upgrade Caseri to another school. But I might actually just. Well, I might build, dis, uh, dismantle the small madrasa and actually build it to be a proper happiness building. We could probably get away with building a college. No, actually, let's build more. more economic buildings first. Such as. this carpet weaver's cottage and probably also. Yeah, you can go for an ornamental tulip gardens. Happiness across the board. That'll do. So we brought more troops up to bear against Azerbaijan. Mm. I would like them to get some more. Let's get some more replenishment to get these camel units up to strength. That and there's no rush. Make sure there's no. I mean, we could try trade with Austria. Unsurprisingly, they say no. Come on, Savoy. Okay, so you've researched physiocracy and empiricism. Do you go for social contract? Yes, probably for the town wealth growth. Because it looks like. Oh, Bulgaria's not growing, Moldavia's not growing, Istanbul isn't growing, but we'll, we'll do soon. Cairo is growing, Ankara is growing. All of our main cities are growing, which is a damn sight better than where we were previously. So let's hit end turn. And things are going. Things have stabilised. That's what I say. Georgia seems content with the border territory they've taken. There may be more armies being raised by Persia. In which case it would probably do me some good to build up that second force in Baghdad. Or at the very least a garrison in Baghdad. Because there's no... There's no telling what happens. They might just send another another army. I mean, there's no way they're not going to... <gasps> they're going off to Crimea? I mean, if they do, I'm still at war with them, because Crimea is my ally. Not the Venetians are coming. Because we are at war with Venice. But that's okay. I'd rather not lose Athens, but Istanbul's the, the main territory I want there to keep. Is a port in this region that okay, so let's upgrade. The fishery, seven grand is pretty good. These fisheries are handy because at least it gives me access to fourth rates, even though I've not really done that much military or naval spending. To be honest, that's a pretty naff navy they've taken from the Barbary states, and that army's worse still. I mean, it's only a thousand for a barracks, and so for two grand, I can build new barracks and a cannon foundry. It's probably a good idea. We've also got some troops from Istanbul I can cart over there if necessary. Bulgaria is now growing. Well, it says it's growing. I presume the green must me must must mean the predicted growth, taking into account the Enlightenment stance. So these, this army's grown. OK, 
Okay, let's upgrade craft workshops and do we upgrade the Turkish bath? Or do I build the or do I keep this a Turkish bath? So when Alex well Alexandria is a port, but maybe when Dana is developed I can turn it into a school, maybe. In which case then upgrading that's not a key priority because they're already quite happy with us as it is. So that's the Feline moving in towards to support Cairo. So these are Semat Janiss Janissaries. They've got very low got lower defence because they haven't got a shield, but they do more attack than the Feline. Just build a couple more Isarelis just to keep the keep the uh, keep the army strong. Okay, well that's not really a fight, because their main army's moved away. So we've now taken Ardabil. And let's try and make peace with Persia. Ah, oh, come on. You can see all their, that's their fragments moving up. Malicious conscripts. Ah, oh, they got some dervishes. So they're still not ready to give it up. Could probably do with some getting some more guns up there. Let's get you near demi cannons. Not forgotten about you, Georgia. No way. But Persia's the main threat. Once you take Asfahan, that's knocked out most of their power. And to be honest, if if the Crimeans are going up after... Well, not the Crimeans, the Moroccans are going up after Crimea, it's tempting to move the army near Egypt up towards Georgia. Because we can knock them out quite quickly, so I might do that, actually. Let's take the Fellaini and make them garrison Cairo. That's probably still the closest region. Disembark the army. Come on, we'll set them up to go take back Yerevan. Let's take my navy and sell them back to Jerusalem. So Cairo is exposed for now. We don't get that much of a garrison and we've got no walls, so it's a bit of a gamble. But I'm kind of counting on the AI not necessarily doing things while I go and knock out the Georgians, especially if this army then has to fight against the Persians to the south and if, if end up capturing their capital. Oh, it'd be useful to take square formation, but I would like the growth. So the British isn't the British don't seem to be transporting another army towards my shores, which also gives me confidence in redeploying my troops. The Venetians are probably gonna land that army outside Greece. But that's okay. Once we've taken out the Georgians, then we can move this army west and maybe retake Athens if the need is there. I suspect they'll probably end a few turns raiding. I mean, okay. I mean, they've offered it before, and it's not as worthwhile now, because I'm already at war with loads of people. Yep, the Persian armies are reforming. Could intercept them. I think I might, because it's a small... It's not a complete army. So I think I probably will intercept. But it wouldn't be as, a, as and as comprehensive destruction as if it were a river battle or a proper fort. I've got to take these options as and when they arise. To building up our economy to support those armies. So let's deploy my gun. Deploy one flank of infantry. Deploy. Oh, you're a bit knackered. Let's deploy the other flank of infantry. Let's 
deploy you guys as melee support, such as it is. Let's group my camels together in the trees. Not that they're all hidden, but general in the center. So Martyr is going to probably going to plink at theirs. So let's speed up and see if the shells can actually. Oh, they can get on target from down there. They're targeting my battle line, but the, the AI, as per usual, has sighted a bunch of their troops um, around the guns, so even a miss still does lots of good stuff. And actually, killed a gun team, we've killed a bunch of their crews, crewmen. So much so, we've bugged out this gun. Damn, that demi cannon crew's done an excellent job. Hmm. But they're soon going to have to change tack. Okay, there we go. So, our first combat's going to be on the flank. Feline Musketeer versus Feline Musketeer and Israelis. Very poor quality musketry. So let's fly a cast shot into the Desert Warriors. The general's bodyguard is back there. Aris Aredes, range! Although the quality of musketry is very poor. Let's deploy the Bashi Bazooks on the flank. Let's get my camels on the move. and moving in on the charge. So let's bring some troops in ready to counter charge. Okay, so let's start to get the melee charges in. Let's ignore the Feline because we've already got our Bashi Bazooks and our camels are committed. So they can charge the Feline into the in the rear and the centre. They can charge in now to support the camels. These guys want to get a rear charge. Their chaps hitting our line. All of our guys push our Baji Bazooks to charge their camels to prevent them from getting a charge off. Let's keep our musketry going. Even though you are primed to charge into the back of them, you're shooting into the back of them. Send one unit of camels to chase down their general. Everyone charge the fellow in the center. These are actual melee troops, so we don't want to be fighting them for too long. Let's get a set of camels to work on the cannons. Let's halt the artillery fire. And let's throw the general into the mix. Because these guys are the only remaining troops on the flank.
chase them down, bashy bazooks. Let's reform our line. Let's pivot these champs to help support the fight against the Hillmen. So their camels have come back. Counter charge them with our camels. We have killed their general, which is perfect. Send our bashi bazooks against their camels as well. Let's keep our general charging to start to kill some of these chaps. Go on, you guys. I always like throwing infantry troops into a cavalry combat because it always feels like it just tips the ba balance in your favour. Well, that's probably not needed because they're already wavering. Although they're going to get a load of camel kills as they rail. Good stuff. So I'm going to speed up time because the battle is more or less done at this point. Absolutely continue. So let's just keep killing them. Camels aren't the best for charging down troops because they're a bit slow but at least they are they're slightly faster than a running man so they are still useful but they're not like cavalry where they'll just keep up behind them day time after time after time okay, so it's everyone against this last unit of musketeers come on there's only six more men Slice and dice, that was no way a close victory, that was a solid victory. Well, a, a good chunk of their main army destroyed. So they're going to raid and be frustrating, so we might have to splinter off some forces to act as sweepers. Oh, yeah, the, Ven the Venetians are going after Greece. And I might actually fight that. But, because I've got mortars, which are... I mean, they're usually terrible for me. But we've got some good infantry, got some good melee infantry. Worst comes to the worst, just charge in. My bashi bazooks and my pikes. Because they've just got lots of irregulars anyway. But, looking at the timer, that'll take us way over this part limit. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next episode from where, once again, in one of my campaigns, I'm defending Athens. Radio. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>